Hello everyone and welcome to The Survey. Now, before we get started, I'll level with you. I don't know too much about this game. It just turned up on Steam's new releases and it promises to be a first-person horror game that's quite similar to PT and it was quite cheap, so I thought I'd give it a go. Aside from that, I, uh, I really don't know what I'm getting myself into, but let's find out as we start a new game. Hope you enjoy it. I think I did read on the Steam store page that uh, it's all going to be set in one building, in one house, with various rooms to explore. I suppose, much like PT, the playable teaser. And it's kind of hard to tell because it is quite dark, but I think it's got the look nailed down as well. I believe this is on the Unity engine. Are we in? No, we're in. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, graphically quite impressive. Ooh, what was that? Oh, okay, fair enough. So we can uh, use various things. We can open doors, close doors. Light switches? Is that a thing? Hey, it is. Okay, that's always nice. I like interacting with my environment in this way. Can we uh, change into a snazzy t-shirt? A nice bright hot pink one or something? That doesn't appear to be an option. Walk-in wardrobe, though. Look at this. Wow. Um, it's a bit dark, isn't it? And again. Maybe it won't be for much longer. That is a flashlight. Fantastic. Okay. Right, so this is our uh, lovely bedroom. One of the many rooms we can explore. And I suppose we should probably turn the lights on. There we go. Not bad, eh? Let's try this one. I suppose we should just sort of explore the house at this point. Maybe turning lights on as we go. Seems like a pretty decent idea to me. I don't know exactly when the spookiness is going to start. Maybe it's already started. I can't see myself. Um... Okay. Well, I guess let's let's leave. All the lights are on, I think, so... Let's see what we got. Well, what we haven't got up here <laughs> is the light switch, unfortunately, but let's just explore these uh, rooms on the landing. How many doors do you want? Jesus, they're packed in like sardines. Oh, that one's locked. Okay. Ooh. Like a creaky floorboard or something? Oh, is that it? That could be the uh, that could be the light that I'm looking for. I don't know. I think I'm meant to be by myself, which is a little bit worrying. I do keep hearing creaking. Let's uh, let's have a look at this room. Okay, laundry. Looks like we've got some to do, but I don't think it's really the time. It's just the place. Okay. Well, just like all the other rooms, let's just there we go. Turn the lights on. Uh, like this one. Do we actually have to look down at the doorknob to uh, to open it? That's kind of neat, actually. Ah, there we go. Can I not? Nope. Guess I wasn't at the right angle. Another bathroom. And another chance to realise that I am a ghost. Okay. Right. Couple more rooms and, and maybe a little... Okay. We can open this one as well. Oh, no. Can we open this? No, we can't. Okay. Anyway, we've uh, we found... Um... What is that? Leaves? Dirt? Mud? Hmm. Turn the lights on. Can't really tell what that is. It's just... It's just horrible. Is this an old mattress? Has someone been squatting here? Is that a thing? What's this? 11 SD. I think I did see, like, one of the sort of tags for this game was puzzle, so uh, I guess there's going to be some sort of puzzles in this game. Maybe that's going to be something to do with it. Maybe I should write that down. In fact, I think I will. Just in case. Okay, 11 SD. I can't really make any sense of it right now, but I don't know. Guess we can open this one up. Yeah, I think in it though. So I'm living here by myself, I think. Let me go in here. Oh, a nice little sort of study office area. Pretty nice. Oh, a key. Uh, a rather large key, really, but it's a key I just can't pick up. What's this? Okay. Have we got um, some sort of connection issue, perhaps? Don't know. Let's have a look over here. Okay, again, pretty much empty. Oh! Ah, whoa! <laughs> Almost closed myself in there. I thought I was going to change my t-shirt then, but no. Never mind. Alright. So, uh, is that all we can do up here? I think so. 
That wasn't on before, was it? I think the spooky shit started. Channel 29, there's nothing on TV. Okay. That's really weird, actually. There might be something to this game. So this game isn't actually free. It's cheap. I think I had to. Uh, I think I had to pay three pounds for it, maybe four pounds. I'll put the details down below in the description if you are interested. It has only just come out, at least on Steam. I think the uh, the reviews that I saw were mostly positive. So, you know, promising start, I suppose. All right, let's get this open. Well, I suppose what I should really do is uh, is have a look at this. <laughs> and find out that I can't leave there. What a surprise. Keep seeing some like weird lighting around here. I don't know if it... Yeah, it, I think it's just me. Yeah, it's those candles and my shadow, I think. Got a nice dining area and another light switch. Hmm. Oh, is that a ceiling fan? That's kind of a neat design. Weird as hell, but cool. Oh. Oh, it's not 11. It's it's Roman num numerals. It was 2 then, was it? All right. Uh, so we've got Go. Is uh, Go is 8, apparently. Oh. So far, so good, I think. All right, what we got here? Someone's put the fire on. I assume that wasn't me. And a nice kitchen, and another light switch, which does fuck all. What was that? Oh, what are they? Oh, the question marks. Hang on, though. I think I saw a circle come up. Yeah, okay. So we can mess around with the taps and stuff as well. That's neat. Oh, there's a phone. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, and there's a note or something as well. Let's take a look at the phone, though. Oh, that's space. That's probably why I couldn't jump. Five digit password. Has that got something to do with like SD and Go by any chance? Or like, nice, but uh, maybe not. Okay, so it is just numbers. Fair enough. What's this? One is the master bedroom, two is the other bedroom, three is the living room. Look for the channel numbers, unlock it quickly, she's watching you. Don't leave the static on for too long, it makes her ears bleed. Right now she's upstairs waiting for you, fuck. Shit, okay. All this tension hit me like a ton of bricks then. What the fuck? Maybe I should have turned the televisions off or something. Hang on, though. So, one, master bedroom, two, other bedroom, three, living room. The channel numbers. The channel... I can't remember what it was. Shit, so hang on. Living room is three. Right, right. 97. Okay, so... That's three. That's three. That's the living room. 97, okay. Shouldn't keep it on for too long. I'm going to write this down. 97. So that's the... Okay, so that's the living room one. That's number three. So we got to look at the channel numbers in the master bedroom and the other bedroom as well. But what is this? Actually, what is this? It's a working light switch. I'm going to use it. P? Alright. Some kind of strange bindings in this game, but fine. Mary Walker. Oh boy, look at this. I haven't written in this journal in a while, but I thought I'd write something down. Right now, Lilith is six years old, while Marcus is, I think, four. The other day, she was painting a picture, and it looked fairly abstract at first. Just a blend of seemingly random shades and hues. After making dinner, I came back to find her replicating a painting we had in our kitchen. It was remarkable. I haven't told Joseph yet, but I think Lilith could end up being a very special girl. I asked where she, re uh, she learned to paint that way, but she responded in a confused manner as if all she was doing was casually playing around with paint. She managed to almost completely replicate the artwork, including even the smallest details of the piece. I'll definitely have to keep an eye on their talent. Right now, Joseph and I are both working parents. Financially, we're doing well. No real troubles. No family issues either. Besides his drinking problem. <laughs> Just had to add that in there, didn't you? I'll finish this entry up after I cook dinner. So it's Mary and Joseph. And Lily and Marcus. And I think maybe Marcus could be me. I think maybe I read that on the store page as well. Okay. Interesting names. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, didn't notice that there. Um, I have got to go upstairs, I suppose. 
Can I sprint? No, there's no sprinting in this either. We just gotta walk around this house calmly, no matter what happens. So this would be the master bedroom, right? I did see a TV. Just didn't realise I could use it. Eight. Okay, so it, does it start with eight? I guess it starts with eight. So I guess in the other bedroom we're going to find two more numbers? Because it's a five-digit code, right? Yes. Wait, that's the bedroom? I didn't think there was a bed in there. <laughs> I wouldn't really call that a bed. Bare minimum, really. Right, so that's 29. Okay, cool. So that's 29, so it's 82997. That should be the code. Just want to make sure. Right, everything's turned off. There we are. Okay. What was it, space? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, delete. So, 8, 29, 97? Hey, it works. Okay. The survey. I like it. Well, this is kind of neat, this game, actually. Let's just start from the top and work down. Um, calendar. <laughs> I've got... Oh, it's actually today as well. That's kind of neat. Uh, it's booked for sleep, apparently. There's some media here. Blurry. <laughs> Careful. Careful. Mm, okay, help. Help me. Fair enough. Okay, what about mail? We got anything? Yes. Yes, we do, I think. Weird layout, but fine. Uh, hey, it's your manager, Mark. Are you available to work next weekend? Emma can't come in, so it'll only be you and Katie. It's going to be a pretty busy weekend, and she could use the extra hand. Thanks. Alright. Uh, help please? <laughs> Attempt number what? 89,264? Uh, if you're receiving this, then you've been chosen to participate in a nationwide survey. Uh, we believe you are qualified to be a representative of a specific demographic group we are studying. To continue, please proceed to the survey app found on your mobile device. Uh, okay. I guess that's going to be one of these icons. Settings. Oh, oh really? For the game? That's neat. So I can just do it on the fly. <laughs> nice. Okay. What's this? Oh, this is it. This is the this is the app. Okay. My cooperation and honesty is appreciated. Uh, let's continue. I suppose. I suppose this is what the game's about. Are you currently situated in your home? Yes. Should I just lie for every question? Nah. Let Let's tell the truth. Yes. Are you currently employed? Sure. Do you use your mobile device often? Yes. Did you forget your password for your mobile device? Okay, now this is getting kind of personal. But, yes. Was finding the password for your phone easy or hard? Uh, is this like a difficulty setting or something? I, I'll, I'm going to say easy. Because it pretty much was. Uh, is anyone with you in your house currently? I don't think so. There's not meant to be, so no. Is anyone supposed to be with you currently? No. Are you a college student? Uh, are you talking about me, as in the person playing the game, or the character? Let's just say yes. I mean, it's not true, but yes. Do you enjoy being home alone? Sure. Does it ever feel creepy when you're home alone? I suppose. <laughs> it's getting a little bit quicker now. Have you ever experienced the phenomenon of feeling as if you are being watched, but in reality you are not? Yes, I think everyone has. Uh, apparently, individuals report this phenomenon quite frequently, especially when around certain paintings, dolls, or statues. Uh, any of those objects inside your house? Yeah, I think I saw a statue in the living room. And we got a couple of paintings that I've seen. How many televisions are currently in your house? Why do I feel that you already know the answer to this question? It's, uh... Well, it's at least three, isn't it? So two plus. Okay, please take a short break. We will continue the survey shortly. All right. Continue. Oh, we can't continue. This this is part of the break then. And what's this about? Hints. First, answer the questions from the phone, then wait upstairs. Oh, this. Oh, this is a game hint. Oh, oh, that must be the crash. Head downstairs and pick up the note in the living room. I'll I'll try and keep away from that little uh, tab there, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> Well, here we go. Now the game's finally starting. I think I pretty much know the, the lay of the land. Bring it on. This is kind of fun, i got to say. I try this door. Oh, it's locked. Oh. Okay. Uh, living room. Ah, oh, 
Fuck, the statue. <laughs> of course it's moved. And it's turned the static on as well. Did you break that? Right, um... Oh, I suppose that's going to be in documents, right? I'm just going to sort of keep her in the background there on the screen, just so I can kind of keep an eye on her. Especially the shadow up there and everything. Um, local prodigy? Yeah, okay. Lilith Walker began painting when she was only six years old. Though only being twelve, this child prodigy is able to recreate masterpieces with only rudimentary materials. The child belongs to the local Walker household. Her father, uh, Joseph Walker, a construction worker, along with Mary Walker, working as a secretary at a lawn firm. According to Mary and Joseph, Lilith loved to paint and expressed her talent early. She also stated that she practices anywhere from five to ten hours a day, just to perfect her craft. Her artwork is gaining popularity, as demand for her pieces and replications have skyrocketed recently. Although she enjoys painting, she also plays a variety of instruments, such as the violin, piano, and cello. On top of painting, she also enjoys many other things. I, yeah, sounds like a prodigy to me. Uh, maybe some sort of savant, even. Okay, right. Well, now what? Can I put the statue back? Probably don't want to touch the statue, actually. So we've done that. We picked that note up. Someone has just turned the lights off, I've just realised. No. Was that there before? I don't know. It's a nice steak just going to waste there. It's probably cold now. Never mind. Didn't I see some, like, soup over here or something as well? Yeah. Right. This is a little bit worrying, to be honest. Um, so... Ooh. Why is it so dark in here now? i got to be honest, I'm really quite nervous playing this. Maybe I kind of hyped this game up a little bit too much or something, trying to compare it to PT or something. Just... Kind of freaky. Someone's, at the very least, messing with the light switches. If my t-shirt's moved? I don't know, maybe I'm just suspecting everything now. I'm just getting paranoid. Let's just go around turning the lights on. Um, let's see, is the computer working? No, no, we've still got static on the screen. Is that an option to actually like turn it on properly or mess with the drawers, pick up the key maybe? I have a feeling that's the key to the front door. Uh, what about what about this door over here? Is it still locked? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Well, this is a little puzzling as to, you know, what I need to do. So I was, I think I was standing here when I took a photo or something. No, I don't, don't look at a hint, don't want to look at a hint. Um, is it here? Careful. Careful of what? Is there something out of place here? Maybe on the shelves? I don't think so. Hmm. Maybe it's nothing. Ooh. I hear someone downstairs again. The uh, the audio actually is is very nice in this game. It's quite quiet though, so I'll try and raise that for you guys so you can sort of join me in this immersive experience. What about over here? We haven't had a look in here, have we? No. More clothes. Even in the kitchen. That fine, I guess, sure. What about these drawers? The cupboards maybe up here. No, no luck. Um, anything in the oven? In the fridge? In here? Ah, I'm stumped. What do I do? And has it got something to do with the statue? Ooh, hello. Didn't actually notice this. So we got nine. And it's D. Okay, so I'm assuming... Maybe I'll find loads of these, and they will eventually spell something out. Maybe a short sentence, or a very long word. So, we've got a painting of The Last Supper here. Da Vinci. Is this uh, a replication? Maybe? Pretty impressive, if that's the case. Why don't I just go to bed? That's what it says on the phone. I'm scheduled for sleep. Go to bed. Just go to bed.
Oh, oh, here we go. Found something. Right. Close the door. There we are. <laughs> right. What did I just pick up? I gotta read that. What? Resume game. I oh dear, there's someone crying. Uh, there's a note from Lilith, though, apparently. I asked Mum to get me a diary after my first painting sold. I just thought it'd be nice to write down some of my thoughts. Mum and Dad want me to keep painting, but I don't know if I should. It seems like all they want to do is make money from it. This reporter came in the other day. His name was Rick Driver, and he asked us a bunch of questions. Apparently, we're going to be in an article in the local news. Mum said it would help my publicity. I hardly even like painting, but whatever makes them happy, I guess. I actually like playing the violin and piano way more than painting. I mean, it's okay, but it's not something I enjoy doing that much. I just hope they include Marcus in the article. I know how much he loves writing. It seems that Mum and Dad, uh, Mum and Dad barely even pay attention to him. Is this my fault? Maybe he hates me. Maybe if I'm lucky I'll trip, fall down the stairs and break my arm so I can't paint anymore. At least for a while. Lilith. Is that Lilith that's crying? We gotta go out. Oh god. Oh, you can zoom in. That's nice. <laughs> what a time to realize it as well. Oh, hello! Jesus fucking Christ. Shall I turn the light off? I guess so. Um. Oh god. I, I, I don't know what to do in this situation because there's nowhere to run, right? Do I want to run? Do I want to investigate? Do I what? I want to close the door. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, that was pretty good. That was actually very good. Okay. Did you leave another note down here somewhere? I don't think so. Shit, that was creepy. Okay. <laughs> oh, alright. I, I don't feel like exploring anymore. Oh, man. Lilith. You wouldn't do this to your brother, would you? I assume I'm your brother. I assume I'm little Marcus. I don't hate you. <laughs> I'm really, really fucking nervous. Oh no! That just went off of its own accord. What's going on now? Who's messing with the lights? Oh god damn. Right. Let's, let, you know what, let's close this up because I don't want her like sneaking out of a cupboard on me or anything, you know? Right, she's not up there. Right, lights? Oh god, they're, they're gonna be flashing the rest of the game, I guess. Fuck. Okay, let's have another look at... What is this? Marcus's note, okay. So my sister gave me a journal, even though my mum said no. She said that after her first painting sold, mum would get her a few. She gave me one of them, so I'm kinda happy about that. Nobody really knows that I'm really into writing besides my sister. This reporter met my family the other day. After cleaning the house, taking out the trash, doing the dishes, wiping the floors clean and sweeping up all the broken beer glasses, from Dad, I assume, and lastly, after vacuuming the house, I was excited to meet the reporter. I saw him pull into the drive away. Uh, pull into the, pull into the driveway, I guess. Uh, pen and notepad in hand. As I saw him get out of the car, my dad told me that I had to stay in my room. I tried to ask him for a reason, but he just sort of pushed me in and slammed the door shut. The door, just before closing shut, struck my nose and I started bleeding. It was really the first time I've ever seen that much blood. It tasted very metallic, as if someone took a cup of water and dropped a bunch of coins in there, then drank it. That's not a bad analogy, actually. Uh, I never got I never got to meet that reporter, even though I really wanted to. And that's from Marcus, I think that's from me. Okie dokie. Right. I'll just check this this door again. I don't know. Let's check the statue, actually. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Hasn't moved back to its original location either. Right. This is fucked. I like this. Um, there's a lot of gaps of sort of nothing going on, unfortunately. So I'm... As well as being... Oh, God. What, what, what's going on? <laughs> Either that was uh, my sister screaming, or oh god, what, what, what the fuck? Oh my god! What's this? Let's take a look. 
Whoa, no, 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 no. I am just going to sit here at the front door, <laughs> waiting for an exit, as I read this document, which is Lilith's second note. I'm kind of sad. I mean, I'm only 15, but Mum and Dad are driving this whole painting thing a little crazy. They keep asking me to paint for hours and hours and hours. It's not even something I'm passionate about. I really like playing the violin, but I'm not that great at it. But it's really fun. Both my parents are really pushing this painting thing. They quit both of their jobs just to pursue it because it, it apparently makes them a lot of money. They never even asked if I wanted to keep doing this. I guess I don't really have a choice right now other than to keep painting. Maybe I'll make an excuse, or maybe I'll try saying no. I wish they would pay more attention to Marcus too. He puts so much effort into everything he does. Into everything. And he does really well at school. It was Christmas the other week, and we had some family over. Marcus just looked so gloomy, so alone. Nobody even got him a Christmas present. Besides me, anyways. It's like he doesn't even exist to anyone else. I feel terrible. Also, Dad has been drinking a lot more lately. I mean, he always had some drinks, but he's doing it more and more. He gets scary sometimes. Right. Maybe I wasn't far off in saying I'm a ghost. I don't know, maybe I'm dead. Maybe I killed myself or something because I was sick of my family neglecting me? I, I don't know. Anyway, I should probably check out this door. Oh, good. <laughs> right. What's up next? Where's the next note going to be? And um, when are we going to go back to the survey? Is that a thing? Ah, oh, okay. Yes, yes, we can actually do that. Okay, brilliant. Um, I'll need to fulfill a request. Uh, I needed to go check if the bathroom appliances are working. Specifically the sink and the light switches. Enter the bathroom in your master bedroom and check if those appliances are working properly. Great. So this is just giving me quests at this point, isn't it? So the ensuite attached to the master bedroom. Okay, I can probably do that. Lilith? Okay. Are you in there? No? Alright, well the lights... They're working fine. So, so is the sink. Just not the mirror. Oh, oh, yep, okay. Are they working properly? Yes. Did you notice anything strange? Should I have? <laughs> no. She heard you. Hi. What? Hide. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Wait. Wait, that's, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. What's going on? Let's have a look. Do you enjoy listening to music? Yes, sure. Do you enjoy listening to rock? Yeah. Do you enjoy listening to rap? Yes. Classical music? Yes, yes. I enjoy music, just in general. Do you remember your sister's taste in music? Uh, no, I, I have no idea, but let's just say yes. We'll fake it till we make it. Do you remember her playing any songs on her violin? Ah. <laughs> Do I? Is this something that I should have, like, recalled from one of the notes, maybe? I'll say yes, yes, sure. Were you ever jealous of how gifted she was? How everyone always paid attention to her? Um. Yes, a little bit. We have a song that you might enjoy listening to. Turn on the radio downstairs and listen to the song. <laughs> But what about this she's coming hide thing? Oh god. Did you enjoy the song? I, I haven't got there yet, man. Oh, Jesus. Right. Lilith, if I run into you, dear sister, I'm so sorry. Oh, dear. Is that just like a lighting glitch or something? Yeah, okay. I just keep thinking someone's turning the lights on, but it happens every single time. Um... I don't know. Do I have do I have to do this? Just want to sort of check the area out, you know. Oh god. Maybe I don't have to follow along with this. Maybe I can just sort of skip this part and go to the next part of the survey. Okay. Come on then. What is it? Is that the menu music? Uh did, what? Oh, it's a new question now. Jesus. Do you remember what happened to her? Uh, no, I don't. Do you remember what happened to your family? 
No. The screaming. Can you hear it? No. Not, not now. Have you seen her? Yes. Are you lying? No! She's watching you. Do you feel her eyes on you? Well, I do now! Turn around. Fuck! That... That was nothing! That was nothing and it got me good. Okay. Do you hear the footsteps? I think I hear the pitter-patter of rain. No. Error. Really? Oh god. 829... Let's turn this off. Can we do that? Oh, we can't do it? Once it's on, we can't turn it off. Jesus Christ. Um... What was that 82997 shit about? I don't know. I guess that's all we can do survey-wise for the time being. It does remind me a little bit of Mind's Eyes, the way I'm just sort of walking around waiting for something to happen, but I think that's really up to me. I think in Mind's Eyes, you you just had to wait a certain period of time before something would happen. Now, I think I'm probably looking for something quite specific, like a note. So I might be able to find it quickly. It might take five or ten minutes. I don't know. I will, I guess, just keep periodically checking the survey to see if there's an update. Have we got any more mail? Oh, shit, hang on, we do! Oh, there's more stuff. It's not just the survey. Uh, Mum. How are you two doing? I know it must be hard for you with college work and taking care of Lilith. I'm at a hotel right now and I'm supposed to meet my clients tomorrow. I should be back within a week. Stay strong, Mum. And what's this 82964 thing? 89264. The address is unavailable. What does it mean? What does it mean? We don't have any new media, no new pictures or videos or anything like that. Um, hints, there probably is one. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna click it though. In here, in the study? Oh, oh, hello, oh! The key, finally, we can use the key. Uh, is that, I, I don't think that's a document, is it? No, no, it's not a document, um... But it's probably gonna unlock one of those locked doors, either downstairs or the one in front of me. It's not that door, it's gotta be this one over here, right? This is the only other locked door. Oh my, here we go. Okay. Let's lock ourselves in this room, can we do that? That's something else. Okay, six, six EA, okay. Now let's have a look at that document, which is Lilith Note 3. I hate painting. Mum and Dad want me to finish one piece a week. It takes anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day to meet that quota, on top of going to school. I tried to tell my dad to slow things down, but he wouldn't listen. Today, I tried to stand up to them. I tried telling uh, I tried telling him that I didn't have the right colour of red, so I wouldn't be able to finish the painting, even though I did. So he called Marcus down. He grunted, so you don't have the right colour of red? You could smell the alcohol from his breath. He took Marcus and he started hitting him. Oh. Until blood started to drip from his nose, and eventually his lips started to tear open. He threw Marcus to the ground and continued to beat him and kick him until he was a bloody mess. He took a can of booze and poured it all over Marcus and walked off muttering something. Mum just turned a blind eye and started cleaning up the blood. Marcus sat there unconscious for a bit, and I helped him up to his room. He didn't say anything. All he did was smile. He had a wide grin on his face. I stayed with him until he fell asleep reading this book about cars. Right. So, you know, this wasn't like a one-time thing. I was like really, really abused. And no, I did not want to do that. <sighs> Hello. Jesus fucking Christ. Can't even walk around you. Can we move you? No, we can't move you either. Guess I'll have to go the long way. Oh, fuck. Hang on, what's that? Oh my God. That's the master bedroom. She's up there. <laughs> this is kind of freaky. Um, <laughs> I, oh my god. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, what, what am I doing? What am I thinking? Am I going up there to have some sort of weird confrontation? Oh, fuck. Jesus. Oh, actually. 
She looks kind of cool. I'm just going to close the door on her, though. Yeah, probably for the best. Um, do we have to go in there? <laughs> Is that a thing? Now, let's see. Okay. Uh, this door? No, that's still... It's still locked. And she's just, is she still there? Fuck. Maybe I... Shall I have another look at that hint? Let's have another look at that hint. Oh, God, it's a new one! Alright, so there wasn't any tip as to how to get around this. I guess we just gotta sort of face the music. Let's go for it. What happened to you? And is that definitely my sister, not my mother? Oh, oh god. It's kind of freaky. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Alright. Let's just turn the lights on. There we are, there we are. Feeling a little bit more comfortable now. Let's close this door. And these two. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Here we go then. Ah, of course. Hmm, okay. What have we got down here? You know what? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Let's just... yeah. There we go. Ominous music as well. Death of two siblings. Holy shit. Two bodies were recovered after a fire erupted inside a suburban house near a local ele elementary school. The fire apparently started late at night, as neighbours were the ones to report the incident. Names have not been released, but the victims were identified to be a brother and sister in their late teens. The two were home alone while their mother was on a business trip. The brother was going to high school and also worked a part-time job at a grocery. How the fire started is not clear, but authorities have not ruled out foul play. According to investigators, a candle that was knocked over could have caused this tragedy. Officials have not ruled out foul play as a cause, but aren't suspicious of it due to the circumstances of the situation. I'm dead. My sister's dead. And this music's kind of getting to me. What are we? What are we? What are we doing? <sighs> oh no! 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 Let's go in here then. Let's go in here instead. No, we can't do that. We can't do that. Close the door. Close the fucking door. Oh Jesus Christ! What happened? What? Am I dead? I think I'm already dead. What was that? Eight nine two six four. So it was a dream. Okay. I I don't know if I like I I died there as such or if that was something that like needed to happen. I'm wondering if it's oh right eight yeah well eight, eight two nine six nine, four. Two, six, four. What's part one? He watched her writhing eight, in pain as her nine, condition set in, two, knowing nothing six, could be done to help four. her. Among all her family, she loved him the eight, most. Nine, yet, two, turn around, six, right? Yeah. Four. Fuck off. <laughs> eight, nine, two, six, four. Still the flashlight. Eight, nine. Okay. Eight nine two six four. Eight. Hang on. Eight. Wait. 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 Though, two, eight, nine, and six, four of those numbers in that five-digit combination, are on chalkboards around the house. There might be. There might be another one. To be honest. I guess there's four. I guess there's a four somewhere that I haven't noted down. I may have seen it, I just didn't note it down. Shit. Uh, where is it? That's, that's two. This is gonna be the combination, isn't it? This is gonna be... This is gonna reveal the word. Where is it? I, I'm just... I'm just looking for that chalkboard now. Oh, there it is! There it is! Okay, D. D? Okay, it's just D. Okay, so let's just have a look. So it starts with... It starts with eight. It's eight nine two six four. So eight is G O. Nine is D I. 
Oh dear. Its god is dead. I should have noted down exactly where I saw these things. There we are. And finally, D. God is dead. So, I think I did that in the right combination. I didn't hear any crashing sounds or anything. Uh, my sister isn't running towards me or anything creepy like that. What happened? What's next? Something to do with the survey, maybe. No. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Nothing, I'm afraid. Oh my god. <laughs> I just realized. Okay, alright. Okay, what, uh... Is it just me in here? Oh yeah, it is. So this is the painting room, isn't it? Oh my god, right. Uh, the screaming, the crying, can you hear it too? For an eternity, I have lived. And for one more, I shall live on. Trapped inside these memories. Uh, with the devil himself. Oh, blimey. Painted with blood, too. Oh. Alright. We have another document to read. Oh, Jesus. I can't move. Today, I woke up, and I can't really explain it, but my right hip just feels extremely stiff. I tried to get out of bed, but I could barely turn my body without feeling pain. Uh, a little bit of an update. Uh, my parents took me to the hospital just in case it was severe or life-threatening, but the staff seemed to be clueless as to what I actually have. They said they'll need to complete further x-rays, possibly even use an MRI in order to verify their diagnosis. Hopefully, I won't have to paint or anything. Ugh. I also had a really weird dream. I was alone in the house with Marcus, but for some reason he was always afraid of me. Every time he, I would try and get close to him, he would run away in fear. It was such a weird dream, because in a way, it felt like it lasted forever. Well, that, uh, I have to admit, that's kind of what I'm trying to do now. <laughs> well, um, we don't want to meddle with her fine work, do we? So let's leave, I think. Yeah? And, and, and what are we going to do next? Oh, what? That's new. Isn't it? Or have I just noticed that? Oh, God. Hang on. Where's that coming from? That might be the master bedroom, or it might be outside, or it might be somewhere down here. Either way, probably don't want to find her. Oh, what we got here on the dining table? Oh, a couple of things. Okay, let's have a look at this one first. Lots of reading in this game. Diagnosis, here we go. To the Walker family. We've had some difficulty in regards to diagnosing your daughter's specific condition, but we have concluded that it is fibrodysplasia ossificans uh, progress progressiva. It is a very rare but severe condition where the patient's soft tissue, when repaired, becomes ossified, basically turning into bone. This is due to a mutation in the repair mechanism of the body that results in this condition. There are treatment options to slow down the process of the condition, but I will admit the future looks fairly grim. In all honesty, this is what will eventually happen. The disease will spread throughout her body until most of her soft tissue, including tendons, ligaments, and even muscle, will become ossified. The most we can do is provide medication in order to relieve the pain, but other than that, the condition has always been fatal. Your daughter might be able to make it to the age of 40, if she's lucky. Please let us know what direction you'd like to take. That's from Dr. Gammon. Nice. Nice. Okay, that might explain her current look. Um, okay, and, and this? Oh. Oh, you know, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna read this somewhere else. I can't move. Right. Okay. Okie dokie. You know what? You know where I'm gonna go? I'm gonna go in here. This is my safe place. You know, uh, Hmm. Yeah, here. There we go. Close this up. <laughs> Feeling a little bit more comfortable. Now let's read... Uh, what is it? Oh, right. Marcus Note 2. My parents took Lilith to the, to the hospital after my sister said she felt immobile around her hip. She said it felt completely stiff, as if all of the muscles surrounding her hip had turned to bone. Which is, as we know, pretty much what happened. 
The other day, Dad threw me down the stairs because Lilith's paintings weren't selling as much as they used to. He thought it was an entertaining way to encourage her to paint better, as he phrased it. I dislocated my shoulder on the way down. After repositioning the joint back into the socket, I made a sling with some old rags I found in the closet. It still stings, but it should heal within a few weeks to a couple of months. School isn't too bad. I'm working on this little project with my, uh, some of my friends. We're trying to create our own braking system for a car. Something that can be controlled remotely. I wonder if I can reverse engineer it to do the opposite task, and maybe cancel the braking system remotely. Oh. Did you hatch a plan to kill your dad? As long as I don't have to stay home, right? Maybe, maybe. Okay. Okay. Is she still out there? I assume so. I don't think she ever really leaves. She just kind of moves around. Okay, we, we probably got to go down to see her. I... Oh, God. Is she there? She's not standing there anymore. It's a very ominous room when this is dark. Much better. Right. Let's just keep looking for any more question marks about the house. Is it time for me to look at a hint again? I don't know. Is it, has it got to that stage? I fear it has. Yep. I'm going to the hint button. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Why? I mean, if I'm if I want to essentially cheat, just let me cheat. Why would you have to put me through this? What about the survey? Is it the survey? No. Ah, oh, fuck's sake, that survey. Maybe if I answer the questions differently, the story would change? Probably not, but maybe that would be a possibility. That'd be kind of nice. Whoa, no, no. I did not press E for one instance. I did not do any of that. Can we go in here and it's like... Ah, we can hide. Nice. Do I want to hide? I, I guess. I mean, I can't leave, so yeah, sure. Can't really see out there very well. What am I doing? Channel 12. According to a recent oh. poll, infidelity is at an all-time high. This may be due to marrying too young, lack of commitment, or even financial instability. Let us examine the story of Joseph and Mary Walker. <laughs> who married and bore a daughter, Lilith, who was very talented in many artistic mediums, especially in painting. Joseph and Mary also had a son named Marcus. Joseph worked as a construction worker, while Mary worked as a secretary for a local business. Soon after discovering Lilith's talents, her parents encouraged her greatly to continue and perfect her skills. Eventually, a high enough demand for her paintings allowed the Walkers to become financially stable, simply by selling Lilith's art. Both Joseph and Mary quit their jobs, as Lilith's paintings sold anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 apiece, depending on the buyer. Due to this high demand, Joseph and Mary began to live life far above their means taking advantage of their gifted child in order to satisfy their own greed. It started off with Joseph burning Marcus with cigarettes if Lilith refused to work. Slowly the abuse became worse and more intense, until one episode landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. The family was forced to cover up the incident and no charges were filed. This abuse continued for a long time. Marcus grew accustomed to it. It was simply a part of his life, just as much as breathing or sleeping. After Lilith was diagnosed with a rare bone condition, everything changed. She lost her ability to paint, leading the family into a period of financial hardships. Joseph
Joseph wasn't able to find work due to his alcoholism, but Mary was able to find a job at her old company. Her former employer kept in touch with her throughout the years. Tension began to build within the family. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. Oh dear. He couldn't have been happier. Oh dear, I think I'm gonna get he back in the closet. <laughs> he couldn't have been happier. Oh jeez. He couldn't have been happier. Okay. Is that the end of the uh, the Channel 12 news broadcast? Does that mean the door's unlocked? No? Fuck. I'm still trapped. Turn it off. Turn it- Ooh. Ooh. No, no, close it! Did I hear footsteps? I think I did. Oh. You know what this calls for? A survey! Ah, oh, fuck, no it doesn't. Jesus. Uh, uh da, 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 I don't want to mess with the options. Uh, 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 part two. He had a taunting grin on his face, as if seeing her suffer filled his heart with delight. For the first time in a long time, he felt joy. Oh dear. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, I... Believe it or not, I'm actually trying to open the door, but I can't. Yeah, right. I tell you what. No, can't. Can't turn that off. Oh fuck it. You know what? I'm just. I'm a big crybaby right now. Just fucking stand next to the door. Try and open it. You lock the door. You open it. Come on, dear sister of mine. Oh, storm off in a huff then. Go tell mum what I did. Ah, oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, right. What do we got? <laughs> I'm just gonna go back in my closet. <laughs> uh huh. We have got Lilith Note 5. Bloody hell. My parents gave me the news. So I have this condition called fibrodysplasia, ossifications progressiva. Basically, it's a condition where my soft tissue, ligaments, tendons, and muscles gradually turn into bone. They said that eventually I'll lose my mobility in my arms, legs, neck, everywhere, until I'll need a caretaker to basically do everything for me. Right now, I feel it in my arms and torso. For now, I just sort of stay in my bed. It hurts to walk around, and I can't really exercise or damage my body in any way, or else it'll speed up the process. I mean, I'm only 15, so this is a lot to take in knowing that I'll slowly become more and more immobile. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? I wish that I could stop painting, or that I wouldn't have to anymore. And this was the answer I received. The best they could do was prescribe medication for the pain. A year from now, there is a good chance that I won't be able to walk, and I'll be in a wheelchair, or worse. I just hope my family will be stable without my help. I'll be a pretty big burden. The other day, I overheard my parents arguing. My mum brought up the idea of getting a divorce. I feel like this is all my fault. Well, hello. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, okay, another document. Some more reading. I overheard them talking about what Lilith's condition was. Apparently she has some sort of bone disorder. Basically her body keeps becoming more and more immobilized until she's basically paralyzed. The process can take a while, but it continually gets worse and worse. They seem very worried about it. As far as I know, Lilith won't be able to paint. I wonder what will happen. Mum and Dad were screaming at each other the other day. I've never seen them argue like that. It was quite entertaining seeing them bicker and yell. I had a wide grin across my face as I watched the spectacle. My parents have been trying to find work ever since they heard the news, but only my mum has been able to find a job with her old employer. Dad hasn't had any luck. This is quite an unfortunate situation. I did a bit more research on the condition and it seems incurable. My parents seem like they're in a state of panic. I've never seen them like this before. Frantic, scared, and unstable. I've never been more excited in my life. Marcus, don't take this the wrong way, but you do kind of sound like a maniac. 
All right. So I guess once again, let's just go through the house looking for more notes and looking for more things to read. I just realized, I think it's the painting that I'm hearing. It's kind of creepy. Right. What do we got down here then? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. If I don't look at her, she'll go away. Oh, God. What was that? No, seriously, what the fuck was that? Is that your best you can do? I thought at the very least I was going to die from that. Yeah, apparently not. I got stuff to read. My mum showed him the divorce paperwork and he was livid. I've never seen my dad this furious. His bloodshot eyes trembling in fear because he knew he was powerless against her decision. He kept taking beer bottles and smashing them against the kitchen table after he heard the news. She said she was tired of having him just drinking all day and not contributing to the family at all. I left a little surprise for him in the car. He'll find out while he's driving. Yeah, you cut the brakes, didn't you, basically? Well, for now, I guess it'll just be Mum, Lilith, and I. She asked me to get a part-time job, since we'll need the money to help with Lilith's medical bills. I don't mind working, even though I'm still in high school. I'll be pretty busy, but I guess I'll just have to deal with it. It'll be hard, though. I went to the doctor the other day, and he examined my shoulder. It turns out that I've had a torn rotator cuff for a while now but I've never been able to get it checked out because of Dad. I haven't been able to rotate my arm past 90 degrees without feeling this tearing sensation on the back of my shoulder. Thanks, Dad. I guess in the end, everybody gets what they deserve. Holy shit. Wow. So, we've got this really rare disease for my sister. And my dad, I think I have just killed. Or at least sort of like setting him up to die. Family's just going to pieces. And I think I'm dead. <laughs> Not to forget, I think I'm dead. Suicide note. Oh, man. Oh, my mother's Mary Walker. It's been hard the last year. I've been working overtime almost every week at my job, ever since the divorce, just to cover everything. Lilith, well, she was bedridden and relied on Marcus for just about everything. Marcus was attending college and working at the same time. I went on a business trip for about a week, and I didn't get the news until I came home. The house caught fire. I was told that Lilith died a horrific death, burning alive as the flames consumed her. They said the fire started in her room, most likely by a candle that was tipped over. The neighbours? They said all they heard was a haunting scream, like an animal that knows its death is approaching. Everything is gone. My kids. My house. Did I deserve this? I was so blinded by greed. I'm a horrible person. I let my son be abused for years just to force my daughter to paint and make myself money. I guess Joseph got what was coming to him, and now it's my turn. I just wish I could watch over them. Mary Walker. Is that what you're doing quite quite aggressively? Watching over me? Because I'm having second thoughts now. Maybe this is my mother. Maybe this is my mother and not Lilith at all. Okay. Uh, what next? Oh. Jeez. Is that coming out of the... I don't know if that's upstairs or what. I guess we've got to go upstairs, really, haven't we? Hello. I guess we can't. Fuck you, you little angel. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Um, okay, we haven't got any more mail. Nothing media-wise. Calendar doesn't change. Survey? Uh, I guess the survey. The survey part of the game... It's just over. Which is kind of weird, considering, you know, that's what the game's named after, and it's quite a small part of it, really. I'm Joseph, back with an update concerning our latest story. A drunk driver was recently killed in an accident outside a local liquor store. According to friends and family, the man had been going through a divorce with his wife, probably trying to drink his sorrows away. He swerved off the road, crashing his car into a tree. Officers have noted that there might have been tampering involved with the braking system of the vehicle. That'll be me. Fortunately, the individual suffered greatly while dying. I know a certain someone that would be happy to know so. Don't worry, I'm stuck as well. This was Joseph, bringing the local news. 
Thanks, Joseph. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I did take a, a great pleasure in knowing that he died. Is the angel gone? Oh, it's gone, okay. Upstairs we go, then. Shh. Hello. Jesus Christ, look at you. This isn't going to go well, is it? I'm just gonna, just gonna close the door there. Yep, there we go. There we go. Thought I saw something behind the shower then, but no, <laughs> I don't think so. Just a weird shadow. No more notes or anything. No. She's still there. Yep. Okie dokie. I don't know why I'm looking in all these other rooms. There's not going to be anything there. Yeah. Okay. She's gone. She's gone. There's a note on the study floor. Let's take a look. Oh, boy. It's been almost a year since I've been diagnosed. It's gotten worse recently. I'm losing control of hands, so it's getting quite difficult to write. One day I wake up and I'm... I'm, and I'm unable to move a certain part of my body. It's a bit horrifying having your fuck... <laughs> uh, having all your muscles, ligaments, and tendons slowly turning into bone. Marcus has been taking care of me. I feel like I'm such a burden to him. On top of school, his part-time job, and taking care of me, he seems so busy. Mum's been working overtime almost every weekend just to help me with my medical bills. I mean, we have insurance, and we still have some money left over from my paintings, but it's still getting pretty tough to pay for everything. I can't walk anymore, so I'm pretty much confined to my bed most of the time. My favourite part of the day is when my brother comes in to check on me. Hopefully he'll never read this. This is embarrassing. But I feel like I'm holding him back. After Dad died, he seemed so much more alive. I guess he got what he deserved, but is this my punishment too? Oh, fuck. Why can't I flick the switch? What's preventing me from doing that? Not being able to open the door, I understand, but, I mean, come on. Oh, hello. Oh, joy. Maybe I should hide in the closet. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Uh, I still don't know how I feel about this game. I think it had a pretty strong start, but I think I've been going through it really awkwardly, and I think that might be up to me. But it's just kind of an awkward game to go through, I think. Is she still coming? I mean, what's going on? Is she there? <sighs> Okie dokie. Truth be told, I don't know if the flashlight will really help or not, so... Just gonna leave it off for a while. <sighs> oh, fuck it. If she runs into me, nothing happens, right? I might end up in my bed. Who cares? Let's go. Right. So, Lilith, my mother, whoever it is, is gone. Leaving behind yet another note. Would you believe it? What is it? It was this door, right? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, so okay, light's working here, thankfully. Let's take a look at yet another document. Looks like we're getting to the end of these, but here we are. Marcus Note 5. I can barely keep up with everything. I was accepted into the university that I really wanted to attend, but I decided not to go through with it. If I did leave, no one would be here to take care of my sister. If I'm being honest, I wish I could leave. I want to move on and just forget about her. Mum, Dad, all of them. I've decided to attend this community college first, and then transfer over to a... You know what? That sounds like it might, you know, need looking at. 
Yeah, I'll just leave you to it as I continue to read the document, to be perfectly honest. Also, I won't be in a ton of debt after I graduate, so that'll be nice. Last night, I saw something a bit disturbing. As I made my way to my room, Lilith's door was slightly ajar, and I could also hear this high-pitched scraping sound. It was my sister scraping her nails against the wall. I turned the light on, and she was there, blood covering her hand. Uh, she was running the tips of her fingers across the wall, to the point where her fingernails were now loosely attached to her finger. She seemed so out of touch with reality. I looked at her other hand, and it was bent in an awkward position, her wrist bending towards her body, while her fingers looked stiff. This thing in my house. I don't think this is my sister. My sister was a painter, a talented girl with immense potential. Her eyes gradually turned towards me. I felt them almost reaching out to me, pleading for comfort. And I gave her none. Right, let's go see what all that noise is about. Downstairs? Master bedroom? One of those? I think it was around this sort of, you know, this sort of part of the house. It's probably downstairs in the living room or something. How long have I been playing now? This is actually a really long game. Okay. Well... What was all the noise about? Well, I mean... Dunno. Sounded like she was having an argument with herself or something, to be perfectly honest. Oh, we still got the crying? No, it's the painting, isn't it? There's nothing in here. Um, could, I guess it could be something upstairs that I just missed. I don't know, maybe I should refer to my phone in the hint button. Shush. Ah, here we are. I guess she was kind of distressed while painting. Pick that up, yep, yep. What happened there? The whole screen's gone red. What the fuck is going on? I'm hiding. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna read some documents. Yeah, let's do that. Marcus Note 6. Mum is leaving for about a week. She's going on a business trip, so she's leaving me in charge to take care of the house and my sister. I check on her briefly, about once or twice a day, just to make sure she's still alive. I might forget to check throughout the week, though. It's such a chore talking to, uh, taking care of her. Why can't she just die already? Am I wrong for saying that? Because of her talent, her God-given gift to paint, it destroyed our family. Without it, everything would be normal. In the end, everybody gets what they deserve, and she's getting her, and she's getting her end right now. Dad received his, and Mum is breaking her back just to make ends meet. I wonder what my end will have in store. Who knows? Maybe I'll get the worst ending of them all. I realize that my hatred for her is wrong and unjustified. It wasn't her fault that she was born with that skill. I feel guilty that I enjoy hearing and seeing her in pain. It's an immature reaction for so long. I wish for someone to feel my suffering. I would get beatings almost every week and my mum and sister, with my mum and sister just watching. It was almost entertaining thinking of what I could tell people at school when they asked about the cuts and bruises. Now, it's a little different, I guess. I'm in control and she's the helpless one. I don't really believe in a heaven or a hell, but if one exists, I'll probably end up in the latter. Jesus Christ. So, did I kill Lilith as well? Jesus Christ. Wait, what? Hang on, what? Is it just the flashlight that's causing this? Yeah, it's just a red flashlight. That's weird. And of course, this light here. Not really helping matters. Ah, the other light switches don't bloody work. Alright, let's go. Okay, alright. I'm just going to continue reading. We're nearly at the end, I think. This will be the last letter I write. I can feel my right hand becoming immobile and stiff. Mum left a couple of days ago and it's been up to Marcus to take care of me. Even though his visits have been getting shorter and less frequent over the, over the last few months. I understand. I'm just a burden to him and my mum. He hasn't checked up on me ever since she left. I've tried everything. Knocking and banging my hand against the wall. Screaming. I mean, that's all I can really do since I'm practically immobile. Sometimes I get my hopes up. Hearing him walk up the stairs. Maybe, just maybe he'll walk through the door and check on me. Did I deserve this? For not standing up to my parents? And letting all this happen? All of this. It's my fault. I'm sorry, Marcus. I promise I'll never be a burden to you ever again. 
Well, this is uh, quite a sad story, really, when you when you think about how everything came together. Yes, we've been over that. I think I just turned him off. Ah, you shit. Turn it back on again. I'm trying. Oh dear. Oh dear. I can't back away anymore. Fuck. This is bullshit. And yet again, still not over. Wow. I guess there's, what, one more note to find? Alright, okay. Is, is this, is this it then? I think so. Marcus, note 7. Life is pretty quiet, to be honest, right now. Between school and work, it's a bit stressful, but it's not as bad as before. Mum is set to come home in a few days. It was nice having the house to myself for about a week. I'll admit, sometimes it gets eerily quiet, and sometimes I hear these soft knocks coming from the walls. Other times, I'll hear crying and sobbing. Right. If you want to read this, pause it. Autopsy, it was confirmed that the fire led to her death, but officials also found something strange. Her body was starving. What officials think occurred was during her final moments, as an act of desperation, she lit a candle inside her room and started the fire herself. Her younger brother, Marcus Walker, might have neglected her to such a degree. Shit. She chose to end her life to ease her suffering. Oh man. Emotions ranging from jealousy, hatred, enviousness, and frustration might have drove him to neglect her, despite her cries for help. Due to her rare disorder, she was extremely immobile and required help for the simplest activities. She required Marcus for everything. Marcus might have held animosity towards her, as for almost his whole life. Everyone had paid their attention to her. Perhaps Marcus wanted her to feel isolated and alone, an emotion he was very familiar with. He wanted vengeance for a crime she didn't commit. Marcus's body was mostly unharmed, though he was not conscious at the scene. He was taken to a local hospital, where he currently resides. He is currently in a coma induced by smoke inhalation and has been unconscious ever since the fire. Is that right? No one knows when, or if, he will ever wake up, or what he is experiencing. He could be experiencing nothing at all, or he might be suffering. The only living relative he had was his mother, Mary Walker, who committed suicide shortly after she heard about the incident. His father, Joseph Walker, was killed in a suspicious road incident where his brakes stopped working while driving under the influence. Due to his unusual situation, no one is left to decide whether or not they should keep him alive in his coma. Many may wonder whether he regrets his actions, whether he regrets neglecting his sister, starving her, and psychologically torturing her to the point of suicide. Others speculate that years of domestic abuse by his father Joseph, along with neglect from his family, left him psychologically scarred. Whatever the case may be, he tortured and isolated his sister. His sister, who loved him, and did everything necessary to protect him. Hopefully all members of the family get what they deserve. In Marcus's case, he's stuck in his own personal purgatory stuck in a place between life and death, an eternity of suffering awaits him. Thank you for listening. This was Joseph Walker, bringing your local news to you. Thanks, Dad. Thanks so much.
So. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's grim. Oh, that really is grim. Oh my god. So I, I, I'm just sort of forced to relive this again and again in my own personal purgatory because I'm in a coma. And someone might pull the plug at any moment. Wow. Okay. You know what? That was actually okay. It was a lot longer than I was expecting, and I think there was a lot of... And what's this about? Hints. First, answer the questions from the phone, then wait upstairs. Oh, this Oh, this is a game hint? Oh, oh that must be the crash. Head downstairs and pick up the note in the living room. Oh, you can zoom in. That's nice. <laughs> What a time to realise it as well. Oh, hello! So I'm... As well as being... Oh, God. Did you notice anything strange? Should I have? <laughs> no. She heard you. Hi. What? Do you feel her eyes on you? Well, I do now. Turn around. Fuck that... That was nothing. That was nothing, and it got me good. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything with the fridge. What the fuck? Oh, God. I'm seeing things now. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let's go in here, then. Let's go in here instead. No, we can't do that. We can't do that. Close the door. Close the fucking door. Oh, Jesus Christ. What happened? What? Am I dead? I think I'm already dead. Oh my god. <laughs> I just realized. Okay, alright. Okay, and, and this? Oh. Oh, you know, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna read this somewhere else. You lock the door, you open it. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. If I don't look at her, she'll go away. Oh god. What was that? No, seriously, what the fuck was that? Is that your best you can do? I thought at the very least I was going to die from that, and I'm unable to move a certain part of my body. It's a bit horrifying having your fuck. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, joy. <laughs>